spontaneous trip, guys. I'm going to Helen, Georgia. Let's go. You can go with me. Bucky's is a very popular gas station. I like to say if Disney World was a gas station, it would be a Bucky's. The place is always packed. There's 101 gas pumps and you still can't get gas. Uh, you still have to wait for a bathroom. It's kind of insane. Everybody loves it. It's cute though. Gotta love Bucky's. Yeah, in Georgia. In I'm Georgia? Yeah. Hey. That's crazy. Yeah, just because I was doing somebody a favor. Recently or a long time ago? Um, probably about like four years ago now. Well, um, you're blessed. Definitely. You know, the, the, the dude tried to shoot me in my head, but I heard a voice in my head duck. At the same time, I felt someone lightly shove the back of my head. The dude pulled the trigger at the same time. It looked like he shot me because my head moved, but it went through my ponytail. I felt it. Proceeded to shoot me in my back, in my left cheek, and in my leg. And he emptied the clip on me and then drove off. You are kidding me. Yeah. You're blessed. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. You know it. You know you're blessed. He here for, he here for a whole other reason. I'm That's wild. God is good. God is good. I love Waffle House. Y'all are great. I had to have that clip, guys. So unplanned. This man tells me about his story about getting shot. Literally, uh, mind your P's and Q's when you're driving through Georgia. They will pull you over. They will search your car and they will put you in jail. Um, they do not play in Georgia. I'm warning you right now and uh, you'll see it if you drive through there. Well, even without the police, it's about an eight-hour drive to Georgia. I finally made it to the river uh, late at night. All this had to be muted because there was awesome music going on. And, you know, YouTube's like Footloose, the movie. You can't dance or have fun. So <laughs> we have had to voice over it. Anyway, good times at the river. This is Betty's Country Store. They serve breakfast, lunch, and mimosas. You can go to the country store and buy anything you need over there. It's like a little grocery store. Um, all your supplies for hiking are there. Helen is a little Alpine Swiss German town, and it's a lot of fun. It's right on the Chattahoochee River. There's a lot to do here. You can tube the river. You can hike. You can hunt for mushrooms. You can do anything you want. You can go wander the waterfalls. This one right here was called Rapier Falls, and it was a very tough hike, uh, very steep. I got this close, and there was a massive spider web, so... I called it quits. I'm at the waterfall and I'm not going any farther because there's a spider web. But this is cool. Everything starts really early. Um, get up and go in the morning, I'm telling you, because everything fills up really quickly. Have an idea of what you want to do in Helen. Um, I decided to go wander the river, cool off in the river, um, check out a couple waterfalls. And you can find a waterfall map. It'll tell you the levels of the hike, if it's easy, you know, like a flat walk, or if it's a steep hike, it'll let you know. Um, and you can plan accordingly. There's a lot of like river areas where you can just go visit the river and just go sit by the water, enjoy like a picnic. There's a plenty of turnout, turnout so you can see the, the views and the mountains. You know, there's all kinds of stuff to do. This was Cupid Falls. I found this by accident. Um, just looking on the map. Looked like a cute little campground. And it was just more than I ever could have imagined. Spent a lot of time here looking at the falls and then wandering around. They had a nice little wooden walkway. So if you were, you know 
handy capable. You could totally get around here and check out like all the nature. I saw rabbits. I saw deer. I saw all kinds of nature in this area. It was so beautiful. I really enjoyed just wandering around um, aimlessly and looking for deer. This walkway did not circle back around, so you do have to go backtrack from where you came, which wasn't a big deal. I just kind of wasn't expecting it. Um, I loved Cupid Falls, and I definitely visit Cupid Falls again. There was a lot to do here. Great place to take kids, have a picnic, do whatever, play in the water. It was really safe, really beautiful, lots of nature. There was bathrooms, you know, available. It was just the most perfect spot. I couldn't have found a better spot, so I felt really blessed by this. The whole trip, I felt blessed by God, like just every moment of it. Here's where I saw the rabbit, and I went looking for him again, and I couldn't find him. But I'm wandering around, and all of a sudden, I did run into two deer, and they did not seem scared of me at all. As you can see, they did not seem concerned with me. They did seemed curious but they didn't run they didn't barely flinch um, deer at home would run so I was kind of shocked these deer were so calm I mean I don't know maybe this is a state park area or something and I wasn't aware of it but these deer definitely they acted protected <laughs> let's just say that they didn't have a care in the world so I don't know if they just know it's out of season or what now, I love Atlanta, and I love Georgia, but this is my favorite part of Georgia. Just the deep woods, quiet, serene, untouched beauty, you know, um, animals and nature. This is what Georgia's all about, in my opinion, hiking the woods and, and enjoying just what God's given us. And unfortunately, my trip's about over. I didn't do any touristy things, but I promise on my next trip to Georgia... I will do some touristy things and I will post, you know, the places to go and the things to do and the do's and do nots, I promise. So subscribe, guys.